everyone, I'm Lily. <coughs> I'm eight. Today I'm going to read a story. The title of this story is Bristol Me. Oh no! Sugarbugs! Patty cried. For baby to carry had seen many sugarbug attack. The sugarbug showed up every day and twice on the weekends. Sugarbug wanted one thing: sugar, stinky, gooey sugar. Every time they attack, they left a new black hole. Kathy could not do anything. You see, Kathy was the oldest toot. In a very young girl's mouth, and that little girl like sugars, lots of sugars. The little girl gobbled cupcakes, cotton candy, gummy worms, and more. Kathy looked around at the new little tea. It was too late for her, but she could save the rest. Kathy cleared her throat. She fluttered her hand. The little teeth hushed. They looked at Kathy with awe. It is time I tell you how to fight. It is time you take a stand, Kathy said. One more thing can save you from sugarbirds, and that one thing is Bristol Man. The little teeth gasped. Bristol, and he has mighty bristles and superpowers. She explained. She explained. Called on him day and night. Kathy saw the young teeth. Her cavity scars. She told them about every sugarbug battle. Don't be afraid, little one. She whispered. Call for Bruce, Bristol Man, and he'll be there. The time came. The sugarbug returned, but the little teeth knew the what to do this time. They shouted. With a swish of white foam, Bristol Maine was there. Kapow! Bing! Boom! Sugar balls were thrown into the foam. Gone were the balls. Gone was the foam. But there stood Bristol Maine. He nodded to the little teeth. He gave a salute to Kathy. Then he flew away. The little teeth smiled. So did Kathy. They weren't scared. Bristol Man would be back. All they had to do, day or night, was call his name. Bristol Man, we need you. The end. Thank you for listening. Goodbye.